back to my channel today i'd like to show you my walkthrough on my new project and this time i used alice in wonderland and the paper line is called time to dream and it's from scrap Mir. and let's dig in okay so first of all the size the size is completely nine inches or 23 centimeters and it's wide five inches or 13 centimeters and the spine is a small three inches or a seven and a half inch uh, centimeters. Yep, that's the size. And it's a perfect size to add your four by six pictures in it. But let me show you what's all in. All right, so the first you see is the front bolt. <laughs> and um, yeah, what can I say about it? So you will see the Alice in Wonderland. And I added some flowers, not too much this time. At least in my opinion this is not too much <laughs> there is a double closure but we're going to see that in just a sec the spine i used some gray burlap with um some um silver feathers on it i thought it fit perfectly um, i made a little charm that you can um put away if you don't like that but gosh i love these little elements from Alice in Wonderland, drink me Alice a key and make all where we're all mad here <laughs> charms the bu the bunny um yeah I just love it and I just used uh, some lace to add this on the spine you will see that in a tutorial how I did that um on the side not the back this is the back <laughs> the back is just plain uh, with adding some um, ribbon on the side I do love that blue to come back in this project so let me just open this up <laughs> all right so we have this little thread right here with some beads on the bottom and that makes it open but it's also with a magnetic so it's it's a double closure I just wanted to keep it nice in one spot so you open this up <coughs> so you open this up and then we go right away to the inside um at the front we i made a <laughs> two small pockets where i added two little booklets inside just a few pages in here just to where you can write something down i always love to make these little booklets the other one is this one super cute easy to write something nice in here and then i just decorate the bottom in the middle right here then we go to the first page right here okay so now the first thing perhaps you already see that the first thing that i did use is four paper bags um, for the for the for the blah, 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 for the pages i use four paper bags for the pages and i love using those and it was finally time to do that again and i just love this method to add our photo mats in it but let's just begin on page one okay so the first thing you see is two frames and you can just easily take these out and add your picture on the back and pull it put this back inside if you like but so now I added these two images on it just to welcome always like a first impression on the inside of a book now this opens up like that and inside we have a big pocket where I already add just a simple photo mat inside um, this I have to say right here these edges do you see that so cute i used the tim holtz decal cutter love that one you don't have to buy it personally i love it but if you don't like it then just skip that but i really think it's a great 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 um extra to your craft tools but it was the first time that i could get my hands on and i love it but I think it's really edgy. It, I do. I do love it. <laughs> anyway, a big pocket where I added this nice papers on the bottom right here. Where Alice looks pretty grumpy, but 
I don't know why. <laughs> and this it closes down. And I open this up. And then we have a nice um, patchwork frame with a nice photo frame in the middle. This I kept it plain because you can add loads of pictures in here. Now in each pocket there are two photo mats inside. Uh, but you still can add loads of things in here. Now if you turn this to the left, of course on the back is also the same pocket from the paper bag where I also added two photo frames inside. But as you can see, lots of place to add things in there. All right, so let's... The back is also um, pretty simple. It's just the back of the paper bag where we add just a simple pocket in here. And a nice tag. So cute. Take me. Oh yeah, I always say that and I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next page. <laughs> okay, next page we see a nice element right here, which I decorate um, with some um, cutouts and some papers that we used. Um, then you flip this up. Then we have a opening spot right here, and these opens also. So you have loads of places to add your little pictures. Here I just add two simple tags already in here and then this is not all this flips up again which a nice again a nice um, uh, leftover frame <laughs> and a nice photo mat in the middle again a nice big page where you can write something down or you can add another big picture on here and then this closes it all up with a seam binding ribbon and of course inside here also two photo mats and on the back also two photo mats inside here and still loads of places. Um, again here we have a pocket with a nice tag open me and these are just the leftover pieces I made myself a paper clip with a nice uh, attachment from the paper line so the person who gets this still can use those leftover pieces okay let's go to the next page the next page um, this is a little tuck spot where it says doing me so another tag a little tuck spot or you still can add your picture uh, behind it this is also a little tuck spot if you like so you also can add this right here, if you like. <laughs> then this opens. Oh, this is actually needs to be closed like with this um, swing tab. So you open this up. <laughs> it was not supposed to be closed. Then um, on the left I kept it plain because yeah, my papers are running out. And I always think it's too thick already and it's better to leave some Em uh, empty spot which I normally would not love to do that but sometimes it's better to keep it empty and here we have a nice uh, picture frame which you still can add your picture on the back and same thing on here nice picture frame right here and those so the the backs all the all the three ones I kept it plain then we have on here a little cut out with just a little small cute tag where you can add a little quote or a little note or a little picture on um, these are just white frames where you still can add um, your name or something on there or you can write something down then two photo mats of course and those big paper bags pockets the back of course it's the same with photo mats. I made again a nice paper clip. And um, this one is, yeah, of course, also a nice big pocket, which I made a little booklet. Love making those. And here I made a little tuck spot with this uh, lace ornament and some ribbon. Just a little tiny cute little tag will fit in here then we go to this page 
This page is pretty simple. Well, simple. No, it's definitely not simple. <laughs> it looks simple. All right. At the first, we have two little pockets with a little tiny open booklet. This is the same one, but also a nice little cutout where you still can write something down, put a little picture inside. Then we have again this closure. This opens up to the left. On the left side we have made just a little cut out so you still can add a little uh, writable note in there. Here we have again a nice photo frame but this opens to the right where you can add two three by four photos inside here and then this flips to the left and here also three by four photo spots and then this closes us all down with this swing tab and then again we have some photo mats in these pockets and then we come almost to the last again of course here also some photo mats so we have plenty of spots to add your pictures in and then again a nice big pocket a tag with all the leftover pieces i could not cut these down for using the back i could not just cut these down i just won't so <laughs> i kept these all uh, for those who got this so she still can use them to glue down on her pictures or something like that eat me is this one all right and then we have the last but not least pocket a big pocket with a flap where you still can add your pictures in i just made two extra tags already with the leftover pieces and then this closes down with this bead closure this ribbon all right so and then yeah could not resist using this image to cover up this little piece right here and this is done then it's all done so what do you think it's small it's cute in my opinion i love the colors it's so much vintage um, if you want to see the walkthrough with the papers then just go to tutorial one and then there in that uh, video i will show you the easy walkthrough to the papers from scrap Mir, time to dream love it um yeah like i said it's very vintage the colors are very yeah not dark but vintage that's that's the word that i was looking for okay so i had so much time making this i hope you like it too and uh, see you next time bye bye don't forget give me a big thumbs up if you like this video thank you see you next time and please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already bye bye